I know you have a problem. It's okay. Everyone does. I know. You're trying to get villager zombies. And you just think, man, curing zombie villagers takes so much space, so complicated. Ugh. You need to make one potion, one splash potion of weakness for each zombie you want to he heal. And a golden apple. And you have to make chambers for each of them. And oh my gosh, it's so complicated. It takes so much space. Well, don't worry. Maître des Blocs is here to save the day. <laughs> Today, I have to present you my new... Mass Zombie Villager Curing Station. Hello, YouTube. This is Mecha de Bloc, and today I have here to present you a really cool and nifty device I was working on in the last week. Yes, indeed. Today I have here to show you uh, the first I saw of its kind. I never saw anything like this on the internet before. I was wondering if someone ever made some kind of design to cure a lot of zombie villagers into a really compact space. And all the designs I've ever found was to cure one in a small space or to cure many in different chambers. But right now, I have here to show you my first attempt on a mass zombie villager curing station. And why do I say mass zombie villager curing station? This is because uh, there is no difference with the design. Uh, no matter if you want to cure one or a thousand, it works all the same. You can cure as many zombie villagers as you want in the same area as you were cure one with this design. The machine is not the most compact, as you can see here. It's kind of large, it takes quite a bit of space, but considering that you can cure indefinite amount of zombie villagers with this, I think it's pretty well done. Okay, without further ado, let's stop to bore you guys and show you the thing in action. Okay, now I'm going to proceed on showing you how this thing works. There are about 10 zombie villagers or so bouncing up and down in that water stream. There are two buttons here. Potion and reset. If we press a potion button, they get splashed with weakness. I'm not gonna cover the reset yet. Let's go upstairs. Here's our golden apples. Just take the golden apples that you want. And you lean up here. Keep right clicking or else you'll eat it. And just give it to all of them. Think I'm done? You have to stop when you don't see any more gray particles. If you just see red particles, that probably means they're all gonna cure themselves. And here is the cool thing about this. Well, what differs my design of a bunch of other designs I have seen is that the, why don't people make this? Why was this never created like zombie villagers being cured in one spot? It's because when a zombie villager gets cured, it changes into a villager, then the other zombie villagers will just kill him. Not in this case. Because there is a villager there. And all those zombie villagers in that spot are mad at the villager over there. Even if another a villager gets right in the middle of them, they won't even care about him. They will just try to go after him. And even if it seems that some zombie villagers are not looking at him, and they're facing me or something else... That just means that they're not going to go after any villager whatsoever. It, it seems it's a bug with the system, but it still, it still works the same way. Any villager that will be cured in the middle of these zombies will not be killed by the other zombies. And that's how this thing works. And um, I also have a zombie villager detection system. So let me go into game mode 1 as they get cured. I can pass time while showing you how this thing works. 
There is a snow golem and a cow. Those are the two things that power the whole system. When the snow golem sees a zombie in the thing, it'll try to shoot him. But the cow is in the way. And every time it shoots the cow, the cow jumps and activates tripwire. The tripwire gets sent into a pulse extender here, which then goes into this contraption. And this is a modified version of something I saw on the Minecraft forums. Um, that is basically, it's, uh, it's making a bulk. It's making a bulk of items, not in this hopper, in this hopper. And when the signal goes off of the pulse extender, then the items will go back into this, as you can see. If all the items go into this, then it will uh, shut off what was on before by an inverted, an inverted uh, gate, or also called not gate. But as long as this hopper is not full, this thing will keep detecting there are zombies in there. Because Snow Golem will try to shoot them. Then the signal goes over here. It goes into a um, monostable circuit. This is really simple. It's just a sticky piston or a regular piston with a sand block on top. It pushes it up. As soon as it receives power, it leaves just a half a second for the power to go to this repeater over here. One tick pulse gets created before the sand block goes up and the signal doesn't pass through anymore. Then it goes to a torch elevator, and this resets a um, this resets a uh, what is this called? This is a RS Nora latch, and that is what prevents other zombies that fall through the tripwire to change anything with the system. Also, but it doesn't. It's not activated right now because that this only activates when this turns off. So there are no more um, zombies into the chamber. It will then let the tripwire get activated again, and the cycle will reset. But on the other way, it goes down and it activates uh, this... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Down here. It goes to the a dispenser with uh, an empty bucket in it, and also a piston that you can see over there. The piston will get the block out, and this will get the water back. So the zombies will fall into a chamber down below. But they won't be zombies at this point. They will be all villagers. Because the snow golem won't detect any more zombies in the system. And this is how I'm planning to detect when all the zombies have been cured. As you can see, there are already some villagers in there. And the zombies are not even caring about them. I think I just got all the villagers in there. Let's test this out. So no more zombies are in there. They should all fall down in a second. Come on. There you go. <laughs> so after all the zombies have been cured, as you can see here, it just pours the new, um, true the new um, form villagers down into a hole where you can bring them whatever you want, and it also resets. I think you can just see it right here. It resets the RS Nor latch. So now. If a new zombie falls in the tripwire, I can do this like a so. System ready again. It shows that the villagers have been cured. This the system is ready to use. I will just spawn one zombie. There is a command block behind this that is spawning. Um, it just spawns a zombie, a zombie villager up there. If I activate this, as you could see. The zombie will fall through the tripwire. It'll activate the thing that will put the water back, trapping it, redetecting there was a zombie villager in there, and the system will reset. And I can just add up more zombie villagers in the system. And they will all get into this area over here, cure them again, and then they will join the villagers down below. But that's the concept I got for you for this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope someone can maybe find this as a source of inspiration for something they want to do. This is completely survival friendly. Someone could build this in their world, except for the command block part for spawning zombie villagers. You would actually have to sort them manually somehow earlier, and then send zombie villagers from like a spawner or something down the stream, 
and get into the chamber. The stream is completely unnecessary, just how I got the design to bring them to to that. But this could be rigged up to a spawner, that it would be here, or something. Something that could give you zombie villagers, but not regular zombies. You would have to sort them beforehand. But anyways, that's all I got for you for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I brought you some enjoyment for today. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you liked it. If you want to use it, uh, this design for something, feel free to experiment with the concept. Um, I think I told you all that would be needed to say for, for you to try out some things, but please credit me for the idea or mention my name or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's all I got for you for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mercade Block, out. It sounds like something you would like. But man, your hat is floating above the glider! It's so funny! Your hat is floating above the- Oh wait, I want to see this F5. Ah! <laughs>